All right. Where's my mouse? Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming today. All right, so usually we start with some event reviews, but because I was out after my car accident last week, um, I didn't have any events last week. So there are no event reviews for me to do, so we're just gonna get right into it today. Uh, just a reminder to everyone, the live streaming platform has changed a little bit. It shouldn't be too different on your end, but you'll notice that we are currently live on Teams instead of live on Life Size. So if you have any technical difficulties with that, please reach out to me and I can help you get it set up. It should be exactly the same as um, the last platform where you can just click on the watch now button on the MTL post if you want to watch virtually. But if you run into any problems, I am always here for you. All right, I wanted to announce our sneaker impact drive ended at the end of August, and we collected a whopping 130 pairs of shoes. 130 pairs, you guys. I am so psyched about that. We did an amazing job, um, and they got picked up and shipped off to the donation company today. So um, thank you, everyone that donated and it was really great to see uh, such a good turnout for this. Some of those shoes that were in there were very nice and they are going to be upcycled and given to people who otherwise may not have a pair of shoes at all. So thank you very much. There were nice shoes in there. I was like, wow, I guess if you don't like them, well, thanks for donating. <laughs> yeah. I know, and that happens, you know, sometimes you'll buy a pair of shoes and you think you're gonna wear them all the time and it's just like, oh, these aren't exactly great. Oh, you know what? I just realized I'm not sharing my um, PowerPoint screen on the live, give me one second. There we go. All right, there we go. That wasn't too hard. Okay, moving on. Um, so I have a vacation coming up. I'm going to be gone for most of September, as you see. Uh, my last day in this building will be uh, Wednesday, September 6th, and I will return on uh, Tuesday, September 26th, and that will be Oktoberfest. Uh, so I'll be back for the big Oktoberfest party. Um, my emails will be rerouted over to Paula. So if you need assistance with anything, she will be there for you. I will not be holding a coffee talk on September 9th, September 16th, or September 23rd. However, to make up for the missed communication uh, moments, we will be having a coffee with the GM on Friday. Um, September 8th and September 22nd. So if you would like to come and see what the upcoming events are, stop by on Friday on the 8th and the 22nd at 11 a.m. and Paula will be giving a coffee, stop, a coffee talk style presentation in lieu of what I usually do. I'm really excited going to Hawaii to see my sister. So it's gonna be great. Yes, the coffee with the GMs are at 11 a.m. Okay, and I wanted to let you folks know that Central Services, our big overarching um, company that runs Blue Star, is doing the Trilogy Survivor Pool. The last day to register is going to be September 10th. So what you do is you go and you register and every week you pick a team that you think is going to win the football games. So um, you get prizes the farther you make. It's really simple. If your team wins, you move on. If your team loses, you're out. So single elimination, super easy. And if you want to log in and join the pool, you can um, pick all of your teams ahead of time. 
all of the ones that you think may win, or you can do it week by week. So it doesn't have to be constantly maintained if that's not something that you want to do. But there are some really good prizes that Central Services is offering. I think it's uh, like a $250 club card, club gift card. So if you make it to week 18. So it's definitely worth your time. And if you're a football fan, it might even be a lot of fun. Okay, it is Good Neighbor Month, everyone. And what this means is that we are doing a couple of um, little things to honor our neighbors. That's kind of the best part of living in a trilogy community is that your neighbors are your friends and you get to see them constantly around the lodge. And I find, um, of course, I don't live here, but just being here every day, it's really great to see how close everyone in the community is. So what we're going to be doing, as you can see here, I have my nominate a neighbor box. So this is gonna be in the grand living room all month. So we have these little cards here. And what you can do is you can come and you can fill one out and uh, write a nice little note about your favorite neighbor. And you'll put it in this box. And when I return uh, the final Saturday of September, I will be randomly drawing someone from the box and I'll read the nice little note. And that nominated neighbor will get a little care package that I'm gonna put together for them. So if you'd like to give one of your neighbors a little bit of a shout out, have them get some recognition, please come down and fill out one of these cards. Um, I think it will make everyone feel really nice just to hear some nice words shared between neighbors. The other thing that we are doing is we are selling good neighbor grams. So we are offering either a chocolate gram or a wine gram. These can be purchased either by emailing Paula or by coming up to the concierge desk, and they will be delivered in the last week of September, hand delivered to uh, the neighbor of your choice's door. So the, uh, the chocolate is $6 for a gram, and then you can choose either a white or a red. These wines will be handpicked by our wine steward, Catherine, and that'll be $30. So if you'd like to send your uh, favorite neighbor or neighbors um, a gift, please come down and purchase some of those. Okay, um, East Pierce County Fire asked me to let you folks know that they are breaking ground on the fire station that is located up here in Tahale. Uh, they're holding a groundbreaking celebration on Saturday, September 9th at 11 a.m. I did put up a news post about this. So if you need a reminder of what the address is or what time it's going to be, you can check there. But I think this will be a really great opportunity for folks to be there at the groundbreaking um, of a very important staple. I know we've been waiting for the fire station for a really long time. So uh, they're finally getting started on it. All right, National Grandparents Day is on Sunday, September 10th. And what we are doing is we're hosting a cooking university. So what this means is that you can bring one of your grandchildren and you will be preparing a menu like we do with our normal cooking universities. Uh, we've definitely made the menu a bit simpler so that your grandchild will be able to keep up with the cooking. We're doing um, pigs in a blanket, we are doing macaroni and cheese, and we are doing chocolate dipped strawberries. So if you'd like to bring your grandkid and do a cooking class with them, this is gonna be a really great time. And it's going to be at 11 a.m. on a Sunday. Okay, uh, we have a Sips and Supper coming up. Registration for this closes on September 5th. So if you'd like to get in under the wire, go for it. Uh, these Sips and Suppers often sell out very quickly. So this is kind of a unique uh, opportunity. If you've never been to one of these, this might be your chance to give it a try. We're featuring the Minor Family Winery, and we have a really delicious menu prepared. We're doing goat cheese stuffed plums with balsamic glaze. We are doing uh, chicken parmesan with roasted vegetable medley, and we are doing an apple crisp with cinnamon honey whip. So if you'd like to get registered for this, like I said, registration closes on September 5th, so get your tickets while you can. Okay, during the month of September, we are hosting Restaurant Week. What we are going to be doing is, as you can see, we have a 
beautiful prefix menu that will be available at the restaurant beginning at 4 p.m. from Thursday, September 14th to Sunday, September 17th. Uh, so you have the choice between either a lobster bisque or a lamb lollipop as your first course, a roasted herb chicken leg or a filet a poivre for your second course, and a molten lava cake or a pear tartlet a la mode for your third course. And Catherine has put together a selection of wine pairings that you can add to your experience if you'd like to get the, um, the full experience of restaurant week. So uh, reservations for this will likely go pretty fast. So make sure that you get your reservations for restaurant week. Yes, it's dinner. It starts at 4 p.m. every day. So it'll be 4 p.m. to close. All right, um, our concierge, Chris, will be doing a movie night while I am gone. This is going to be Saturday, September 16th, and we will be showing breakfast at Tiffany's. As always, we are going to be doing popcorn and a candy, as well as a non-alcoholic drink for you folks to enjoy. So come down and watch a movie with your friends. It is only $5, and it will definitely be a lot of fun. Leslie is doing a wonderful offsite for us, well, for me, really, <laughs> during uh, the month of September. She is taking a group of people out to the Point Defiance Zoo and Aquarium, and that will be followed by lunch at Ferrelli's in Ruston and possibly some ice cream. Leslie is super familiar with the Point Defiance area. She actually grew up there her whole life. So she's gonna have a lot of fun facts, not to mention the zoo uh, is a lot of fun as well. So I think there is um, a couple more tickets left for this. So if you'd like to get yours, make sure you get them while they're still available. All right, Oktoberfest, it's going to be Tuesday, September 26th. We are bringing back the Happy Hanses as we have for the past many years. Uh, they're wonderful entertainment and we have a delicious German menu prepared. So definitely get your tickets for this. It's going to be a huge party. And I'm really excited because I've never been here for Oktoberfest. So that should be fun for me. Okay, uh, Paula put together a new set of walks with the GM since her summertime walks with the GM are over. If anyone wants to pick them up, I have a little sheet. Um, it's similar to the last one that we put together and it shows where each of the walks are and what time they're at throughout the month of September and October. So you can grab one of these sheets if you'd like, and these are also posted as events on MTL. So if you wanna go on one of these walks, we do ask that you register just so that we have an idea of how many people are coming. All right, and Trilogy Serves would like to give a quick presentation about the donation drive that they are running. So I'm going to turn the camera over to them. Yeah, we're good. I think. Hi, my name is Janice Hieronima, and I am a newly appointed board member um, for Trilogy Serves. They gave a presentation last week. Were any of you here then? Okay, well, good. Then this isn't new for you. But what we're doing, this is our first drive of the year with our new board members, and we've chosen to do a collection of athletic sweatpants, hoodies, sweatshirts for both teen boys and girls. We picked this because the homelessness among teenagers has been on the rise due to family problems, transition to foster care. 40% of all homeless are under the age of 18 and 1.3 million youth in the US are unsupervised. So a lot of these teens are living in their cars with their parents or on the street. So we decided that it would be nice to get them warmed up and get them new sweatshirts or hoodies or, you know, for both boys or girls, whatever you can do. Um, I got mine at Kohl's. There was a sale going on. Target always has a nice one, of course, Costco. So we do have a box out in our lobby <clears throat> and there is a flyer that is posted on um, MTL and 
these six members, me included, all live in these different neighborhoods and we all have boxes on our porches. So you're welcome to put that in. Um, the donation lasts until September 10th and then it'll go to the Sumner, Bonnie Lake and the White River School Districts and they'll pass it out to those teens that are in need of clothing. So that's what we're doing. And I hope you can help us out. And if you have any questions, just let us know. And you can contact MTL for a number. Ginny is our president and Carol. And soon it'll be announced on our club and you can get all the information you need there as well. Okay. Thank you so much. So yeah, make sure that you bring down um, a set of, of brand new sweatshirts or sweatpants uh, before September 10th. The box will be removed from the Grand Living Room on September 10th. Uh, this is a really great donation drive to kick off the Trilogy Serves donation circuit. So we're excited to help facilitate with that here at the Lodge. All right, now for our final section, upcoming next week. Tomorrow, Sunday, we are having our Labor Day picnic with live music. That should be a lot of fun. Fingers crossed for sunshine, but if there isn't sunshine, then we're going to be in Hawk's Nest and still have a great time. So either way, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're doing a build your own rap bar and a salad bar, and we're bringing in a new guitarist that we've never worked with before. So I'm really excited to see how he does. Monday is Labor Day, and I just wanted to let you know that the lodge will be operating under our normal operating hours that day. So nothing changes for you folks on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, we are doing a cooking demo, and we also have a big karaoke night. I believe there are 67 people coming to karaoke night, so that should be a lot of fun. Wednesday is happier hour, and that will be the first... Um, round of the new September happier hour menu. So there will be new um, menu items on that Wednesday. And that is also the first fall walk with the GM that I mentioned. Thursday the 7th, we are having a wine tasting in two tides. And Friday the 8th is the first coffee with the GM uh, that will be held while I am gone. All right, questions, comments, anything like that? Okay, thank you all for coming. It was nice to see you, thank you. <laughs> oh, I definitely will. I can't wait.